Uh, it's wonderful to be here, and it's wonderful to see democracy in action. Now, I, I have a whole lot of hats that I've worn at various stages of my life um, about hospital practice. <laughs> and I came from two big teaching hospitals in Dublin. Uh, the Mater Hospital, which was my, my birthplace hospital, as it were, and Our Lady's Hospital in Crumlin. And I saw things through Dublin eyes. Big was beautiful. Get them all in here and we can treat everything and uh, there isn't any need for hospitals in the periphery and whatever. But I was a very callous young man and I didn't really realise what the whole system was about. And it wasn't just about Dublin and it wasn't about Cork and it was about Ireland as a generality. And my first lesson in that was when I was on the Corlin and Ospedale, which used to regulate and distribute uh, consultants throughout the hospital services in the country, and try and regulate those. And there had been, before Hanley, there had been the Fitzgerald Report, which was roughly the same kind of thing as Hanley. Big is beautiful, uh, regional centres of excellence, but nothing ever happened. And in the 70s, um, when I was on the Corla, Rory O'Hanlon, a good friend of mine, nice man, was the Minister for Health. And he came into us in the Corla one day and he said, guys, we have to set this in motion. We have to rationalise the hospitals. And we were all broken down into little groups and we were sent off to various hospitals. And they'd, they'd crop up again in my life. Because the first place I was sent up to was Monaghan. And, oh yeah, Monaghan has to go, no question about it. Jeez, look, compare it to the matter. St. Vincent's gone. But the second place I was sent to was Roscommon. And that was a, a searing experience for a young man. Because I, I, st I stood there in this meeting of general practitioners from North Roscommon, South Roscommon, and um, I told them what they, they generalised perceived wisdom of getting better services if they went into Galway and everything. And they pointed out to me all the things that I now know to be true, that the ambulances weren't there, that the roads weren't there, that nothing was there. And eventually one chap put up his hand at the back, and I, I can still see him, and he says, uh, he used a rude word, which I'm not going to rude here, and he says, so-and-so off you, he says, coming in here, he says, and putting bull like that in front of us in your mother's county. <laughs> so that, that slapped me down. And I went away and I thought about it, and not too long. And I had other things to do with my life, and I was, we were getting the, the heart surgery really moving and whatever. And around the, the 90s, we started to run into serious, serious bed problems. And they were throughout the country. And we had waiting lists that were growing up and people dying on the waiting list. And this, to me, as a doctor, was completely unacceptable. And I remember I discussed this with a, a predecessor of yours, Eamon, uh, Barry Desmond, one day. And Barry said, don't be running down, he said, county hospitals. He said, they keep an awful lot of work away from the city hospitals, from the so-called centres of excellence, and an awful lot can be done in them, and it needn't be sent in to clog up the city. He also said something else, and Barry was, a, was and is a very wise man. He also said, don't ever either underestimate the morale factor and the business factor that a hospital brings to a town. Yeah. Now, it's not a medical point, but it's a social point, and a social point at a very difficult time in our lives. Now, I could, say, I could talk forever about the health service. The health service to those who are not pathetically trying to defend it, is in chaos. And right now, we have a minister who seems to want to privatise it. Well, now, I helped to build and develop a private hospital, the Black Rock Clinic. It is not the way to go. Now, by all means... Yeah. Okay. By all means, have private hospitals. By all means, let people have insurance and go to them. But do not throw away our public system, which has developed the hard way over 200 years. Yeah. Yeah.
every night of the week to our eternal shame as Irish people. Patients lie in trolleys, sit on chairs, sit on the floor with a back to the wall in Dublin hospitals, in Limerick, in Cork, in Galway, in Letterkenny, in wherever you like. And that shames us all. Now they are going to tell them they're going to shut your hospital so you get the privilege of sitting on the floor in Limerick. Well, you shouldn't put up with that. Yeah.